How are you, Greg? Good to see you, man. Yeah, very good. Where are you? In New uh, York? Yeah, currently I'm uh, at the office. At okay, the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so nice. we, yeah, we, we have organized, um, uh, you know, shift. Um, well, a lot of people work from home, and right. uh, um, and um, limited uh, uh, limited people here have access to to, to the office, and uh, uh, it's more the watchmakers that work in shift, and uh, so that we limit uh, the number of uh, of the people. Uh, coming here together and we have really strict rules where the people do not really meet, uh, etc. Sure. But still, yes, uh, uh, at okay. the office. That's good. Cool, man. Well, anyway, it's good to see you. And, uh, you know, I guess we normally would all be in Basel right now, <laughs> right? So I guess we're doing like a, a virtual Basel. Yeah, virtual one. Yeah. Very cool. All right, my man. So uh, I know we're here. We're, we're going to discuss three watches today. Maybe let's get started first on the H0. Um, but let's talk about this model a little bit too, because this was a kind of a regression to a really pure expression of, of, of your concept, uh, a really cool case, where I guess the case was uh, the most notable thing was it was almost a huge piece of sapphire canopy that covered the entire uh, watch and which occupied even lower, where the normally the side case would be, right? Uh, I know you talked about a kind of smooth and organic pebble-shaped design, but it's interesting because even though the watch is large, it's 48 mm and quite thick, I think it's 17 mm plus, because of the shape, because of the way also the, the strap is integrated into it without lugs, it feels very um, easy to wear on the wrist and there's a really nice sort of sensual uh, kind of uh, emotion to it. Uh, tell me, so tell us a little bit about the H0, brother. Yeah, so H0, <coughs> we have uh, unveiled it uh, basically in Basel in 2017. And uh, it has been a very important um, uh, step forward for us because what we wanted to, to do, as you mentioned, is really we, we have been working a lot the, uh, the ergonomy and the fluid design on the wrist that's really wanted. And uh, that's why on all our uh, uh, cases, new cases that uh, we are uh, doing uh, now, uh, we don't have, we have taken out the lugs. And uh, there has been a very, very great article from Revolution uh, Singapore at that time when uh, we have uh, unveiled the, the H0 um, uh, and uh, suggesting that uh, the watchmakers should change the way to measure uh, uh, the diameter of the watches because generally right. you put the diameter from here to here. Right. But uh, for the, uh, the, the, the people that wear the watch, it's, it's less this diameter that counts than this diameter. Yes, and uh, if, you t if you take out uh, uh, the lugs, the lugs uh, uh, um, implies an additional distance here on your wrist. And that's yes. why if you take out these lugs, uh, although it's a 48.8 millimeter uh, H0 model or H5 models, uh, on the wrist, it's the equivalent of a 43, 44 millimeters with lugs. And, uh, oh. And, and what, we, what we have done is, uh, and we did a lot of comparison with uh, other, uh, other brands, other, other watches, and uh, uh, thanks to the fact that uh, we have uh, taken out the lugs, uh, the ergonomy and the fit on the, on the wrist is, uh, is uh, very nice, it's very fluid. And uh, we have, uh, uh, it's really round, really rounded uh, uh, case from here, from here, from here it's a perfect circle. And here there is absolutely no sharp angle. So uh, with the generous uh, uh, volume, I would say, from, uh, from our watches, uh, due to the technology that we have inside, uh, it's a challenge. But we turn this challenge into an opportunity. We work a lot the three-dimensionality. And with the, the dome of sapphire that uh, we have, it allows us to really play the three-dimensionality. And we use and we play with uh, uh, the side where generally... Yeah, you I like this. Well, watches do not have a lot of things to, to, uh, to express and to say right. on the side. And we take this opportunity to create. And it's a lot, it's a, it opened us uh, uh, a lot of a creative uh, territory. Well, you know, so in, that, in that case, why don't we put up a picture of the H0 uh, black fluid and uh, we can take a look at exactly what Greg is talking about. Yeah. 
And um, okay, one, one question I've always had for you was, um, so I mean, I, I, the, the watch is really interesting from a perspective of time telling. There's, you know, two different movements with the vertical bellows and then the, the kind of V-shaped bellows that uh, was created by a renowned poppy. Uh, and I know it's, it's basically two different types of liquids that are in that bellows and you've got superluminova underneath it as well, so you can read it at night. How stable is it and robust is it as a watch? Like, can you wear it? I know it's 30 meters water resistant, but can you wear it skiing? Could you wear it like playing some sports as well? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, because of the ergonomy that we have been working, you know, a lot, the, the, the watch, uh, when you wear it, uh, it's, it, it disappears. I mean, uh, uh, when you look at it, for sure, you remember you, you have the watch, but it's a watch that uh, you can uh, really play with. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a, a watch where you have to take a lot of attention. Um, uh, you really wear it on a, uh, you can do some sport or so. Uh, all our watches, they pass the test of, uh, you know, the, the Swiss chrono fiable, uh, where uh, you, we test the shock, etc., uh, etc. Et and uh, it's a watch that uh, you can wear, you know, on a daily basis and uh, nothing special to, uh, to, uh, to take care um, of. And uh, on the H0, the all black, the idea of, um, of uh, this one, so H0 is a very pillar in our collection and it's very, very uh, key and uh, important. And... Uh, uh, for this uh, specific um, uh, collection, it's our entry price uh, at 39,000 uh, Swiss francs. And we have, uh, uh, compared to the, uh, the other collections, this is where we, uh, uh, we, 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 we get the most of the uh, younger crowd. You know, the design is really sleek, so that means it's minimal but sophisticated. And what right. we want to do is really a modern uh, interpretation of uh, the H0. So that's why we wanted to have it uh, uh, two tones, black and orange, um, right. so that you focus your attention on the liquid. And although here the liquid is black, uh, so during the night you don't see the black for sure. But uh, thanks to the orange superluminova that we have applied under the capillary, so you will see a, a, a very sharp contrast and you will see the, the super luminova uh, during the night so that uh, the, the watch can be, can be used uh, like that also uh, when in a dark environment. The, the idea, you know, the uh, HYT, uh, many people ask us, why do you start uh, to uh, uh, tell the time from uh, the bottom and not at noon, you know? like to reverse the fluidic device and to start at noon. It's also because we wanted, you know, at HYT, with, with, with the indication of the time uh, that, uh, that uh, we have, thanks to the liquid, the liquids are flowing during all the day, like a river uh, inside the watch. We want to propose uh, to uh, our customers a different perception of the time and to rethink what is the essence of time. So, instead of uh, uh, seeing uh, the time with the hand that always disappears from its position, here the past leaves traces. So the colored liquid here uh, re uh, represents the things that you have done in your day. This is your past. And the clear liquid represents your future. And the definition of present is really the connection and the transition between uh, the past and the future. So the, 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 the separation that we call the meniscus between the colored liquid and the transparent liquid tells you uh, the time. We've been inspired by the nature for this uh, uh, specific H0 model because, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, due to the fact that we start the indication at six in the morning or at six in the evening, it's, it's an indication of, uh, instead of having from noon to noon, it's an indication from six to six. It's because the human time, we are really, uh, you know, developing really um, a proposition for our customers to rethink their own time, human time. You start with the sunrise. You know, you start your day, except uh, when you do a lot of uh, party and you, 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 you wake up really, really late. But normally <laughs> you wake up, you start your day with uh, the sunrise and then right. you, you commute and go back home at, uh, when, uh, with, um, with the sunset. And here, we, you know, there, there has been beautiful landscapes that uh, we see with the sunrise where you have this big bowl of sun, which is like a f uh, really in fire uh, in a very dark environment. So it's orange, uh, uh, black, really dark. And uh, it, it's really to, to enhance this idea of telling the time and showing the time with the sunrise, sunset. 
and it's incorporated in uh, our uh, new uh, uh, HDRO all black, all black model with the orange super, super luminova. Yeah, that's cool. You know, uh, it, it's nice also to have watches where, you know, by just by removing the traditional hands, I know you have a seconds and a minute hand as well, but true, the, removing the hour hand, for example, you kind of take it out of the, away from this whole idea of civil time being something that is imposed upon you and you start to enjoy time from a very experiential perspective. I think this period uh, during self-isolation has taught us all to try to be very much in the moment, right? Because if you start thinking too much about the past or the future, you start to lose your shit, you know? So a watch like this is perhaps more relevant than ever. What is the material of the case? Is it, is it steel or titanium or? This is, yes, this is uh, steel with a uh, PVD, black PVD uh, coating on it. Nice. It's a really nice color com combination. Uh, steel with PVD coating on it. And then you basically have the small seconds indicator at the far left. And at 12 o'clock, you've got a minutes indicator. Uh, note that there's orange luminova in both of the hands. And then um, on the right, you've got uh, the power reserve indicator, uh, which is also kind of echoing this whole idea between darkness and light. Um, and then underneath it, you see the two bellows that are um, uh, pushing the, that are in charge of, of making sure the liquid uh, progresses in the correct way around the perimeter of the dial. And then at, at that sort of like fluid filled track is, is the hour indication um it's cool i mean it's 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 a different way of, of appreciating time and maybe you know I, I always think of these kind of watches as a type of watches i enjoy when i'm wearing I'm, I'm on vacation where i don't have to you know be looking at my watch all the time and you know not in, not when, when i'm doing like a monday series of zooms and every 45 minutes has a significance this is this is the type of watches when i want to start drinking my negroni and chilling out you know um and it's all actually kind of negroni colored as well which is nice can we just go back one uh, image so we can see the side, uh, the view of the sort of uh, the, the side of the case or the side of the dial actually, where you have this additional set of indications. Because I like this that you've also got um, in 24 hour in the, uh, time, you know, so in almost, I guess in military time, the, the next six hour segment as well. So the numbers 24 indication from the side, yeah. Uh, they are with uh, this uh, orange uh, super luminova. That's cool. Uh, later on this uh, picture. And yeah. uh, so the idea, uh, uh, and thanks to this, uh, once again, this sapphire dome, it allows uh, our eyes to look at the watch from the side. And when you look yeah. at the side, you also see the tube, you know, the yes. tube, the capillary, the tube of glass, where you have the liquids which are flowing uh, 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 inside. So uh, the thing is that when you look at the watch from the side, you see, uh, like, really, uh, uh, it's really like uh, uh, there were the liquids which were flowing, uh, like floating in the air inside. Yeah. So it's really like you have a, a river which is uh, in, uh, in the air like that. And you can also read the time. You can also read the time from, uh, from, uh, from the side because, yeah. because you have this visibility. So uh, the separation between the colored liquid and the transparent, li the cl clear liquid, you see it from the top, you know, from the face when you look at it like that. But you also have this visibility uh, when you look at uh, from the from the side, and that's why we have added uh, uh, this uh, 24 hour, uh, hours uh, uh, indication because you have the uh, possibility and the opportunity to also look at uh, the time in three dimension, not only in two dimension from the face, but you, the time is represented in three dimension, and this is. Well, uh, the very you know, it's also nice model. stepping away from the sort of normal uh, parameters of, of the traditional wristwatch since it is a very modern um, timepiece and, and to have it be kind of a mobile time telling sculpture on your wrist but then to allow access to viewing time from different positions also is really cool um, let's okay let's go from here to the new age five uh, which I believe is a, a blue liquid uh, model and maybe you can tell us a little bit about that as well yeah, so the H5, well, this is the one that uh, I have on, uh, on my wrist. So, uh, uh, you know, we, we, at H2AT, uh, we, do, we are doing a partnership with uh, very great um, um, uh, watchmakers. And uh, we started the journey in 2012 with uh, Cronod and Jean-François Mojon, uh, mm -hmm. who designed uh, our proprietary uh, movement incorporated in our uh, first collection. And then we have done a collaboration with uh, Odemar Pigueronneau and Papi, APRP, yes. which are uh, uh, integrated on the H20, you know, the V-shape, and also yeah. on the H3 uh, model. And uh, our new collaboration that, uh, that we have, we did it with uh, Tech Group, uh, with a uh, uh, watchmaker has, that has been working on it, which is uh, also Eric Coudray, you know, who, who did uh, yeah. Bion, et cetera. Very famous. And uh, uh, this uh, new collaboration, uh, the H5 is really a tribute to our uh, new um, uh, collaboration. So that's why the idea that we had 
with uh, the, 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 the H5 is to work um, the erosion. What is erosion? Erosion is, uh, you know, the phenomenon that happens with the rain and uh, the wind. And uh, what happens is that uh, uh, the rain and the wind, they shape the landscapes and they take out layers after layers, centuries after centuries, and uh, then the big mountains and chop, they become more, more rounded, etc. And the idea of uh, this, we have taken it uh, for the H5, that, uh, that is our first watch to integrate our new caliber, caliber 501. And uh, the thing is, uh, uh, by taking out layers after layers, the dials, you reveal the identity of the mechanical movement that you see here, uh, oh. which is a, a design which is a really, really uh, 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 amazing like that. And if you look at from the, from the left uh, side of the watch, for example, you have this uh, uh, very smooth and organic shape, you know, like you have uh, uh, that shape uh, the landscapes. For example, the rice terrace, ter terrace that you have, you know, they are done like yes. that. And you have these different levels because we work a lot the three dimensionality of our movement and our uh, uh, dials. And here the idea is really to take out all these uh, unnecessary uh, layers to reveal really the truth of uh, the mechanical movements that you see from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from the top here. And uh, from, the, from the back of the watch, you really have a, a, a really great and amazing view on uh, our new uh, caliber. And uh, 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 on this view, you know, we have done a very important also innovation because we have a cam, a big cam that uh, is also is almost uh, half of the of the diameter of the of the watch. And the cam, the aim of the cam is really to rotate. It makes one turn in 12 hours and we have a, a lever and uh, uh, the cam inside the cam, there is a snail shape. You know, it's a spiral, spiral shape. And uh, what we do is that as H Y T is a combination of tradition and innovation, mechanics, mechanical watches, mechanical movements, and fluidic. You know, we merge that. We do a marriage, a wedding, a wedding of that. But still, to do this wedding, we have to connect. And uh, uh, generally, the uh, uh, mechanical movements that uh, 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 have been uh, invented, uh, they are here to rotate and to rotate hands. So we well, and from our side, what we have to do is to compress the bellows, you know. Okay. So we have right. to transform a rotation movement into a compression movement, into a right. linear movement. And to right. do that, this is really the connection between the, 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 the mechanics and the fluidic. To do this, we have this cam that rotates. And this cam, the aim is really to transform this rotation into a linear movement. So, and thanks to that, you do this uh, very elegant marriage of, uh, of, uh, of uh, two opposite fields that generally uh, from the very beginning of the watch, uh, watchmaking, you know, the, the, the watchmakers they want to keep the water outside of, uh, of the watch. Uh, uh, we, we unified these two uh, domains of, uh, of, uh, of uh, science uh, in one as a whole in our uh, watches. And, uh, and this is done thanks to this uh, very big visibility of this connection on our uh, uh, watches, and especially on the H5 model. Uh, I can show it to you on my ah. camera here. I don't That's know cool. if you see it well. So if you, if you look at it from here, yeah. um, uh, what you will see, uh, sorry for that. Uh, here, this is really, uh, sorry, do you see it? Yes. Yeah. This, this is the cam. And inside the right. cam, you have a, a spiral, spiral shape. And here, right. this, uh, this is the lever. And the lever right. is touching, always touching uh, the, um, uh, the spiral shape. And right. uh, 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 when the spiral is, tur is uh, turning, the thickness uh, uh, and the connection here, the thickness is, is uh, increasing. That means that the lever will be pulled down. And as the lever is connected to the bellow, by pulling down the lever, it will compress uh, the uh, bellows, the bellow which is full of the color liquid. And uh, cool. this is, yes, this is uh, uh, here. And uh, you, you, you can see, if you can see it on the, the video, 
uh, uh, the 3-dimensionality that uh, we always work on our, our watches. We did develop uh, the, the movement as an architecture, you know, as a building uh, with the, these, its uh, three-dimensionality. And uh, here it's a, it's a very good uh, uh, example and uh, 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 very easy to, I would say, to, for the people to understand on this um, uh, uh, image, you see it uh, very well. And you see uh, uh, on the top left on the, of the picture, this big cam. And if you look at inside this, you will see that there is this spiral, a spiral mm -hmm. shape. And thanks right. to that, we transform this rotation movement into a linear. And uh, thanks to the lever that rotates, uh, which, uh, which is uh, uh, the big bar that uh, goes from the left, top left uh, to the right. And thanks to that, the bellow from the right will be compressed. And by compressing this flexible bellow, this one is full as this is the, the, the back. This one is full of the colored liquid. And uh, uh, if you compress it, the, the liquid which is inside will be uh, expulsed and it will be injected inside the capillary, the tube of glass, very precisely. And uh, microns by micron. And uh, thanks to that, you will have the colored liquid which will flow inside the, the capillary. And you see, it's here, it's you see here. It's here it's also. Uh, Eric Coudray, who who was um, partnering with you on this movement. Yes, yes, with uh, the, the 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 company, so he's working at uh, Tech uh, Tech Group, and uh, uh, we had a very intense and good uh, always with uh, all the watchmakers when they discover, you know, HYT. It's always uh, uh, something that uh, is uh, outside of the box and. Uh, and to combine and to, to, to give, you know, the explanation also of our technology uh, for uh, uh, the greatest uh, uh, watchmakers, it's always a very good um, uh, interactions, very creative it's ones. Cool, because um, even though it's clearly an extremely contemporary movement and probably even sort of a bit sci-fi sci with the addition of bellows and uh, these capillaries, there's still something very horological about it, you know, because uh, the whole idea of a cam and a feeler is what they use for um, equation of time watches, right? You know, which is linked to a per, uh, the, the perpetual calendar, but it's also something that they use for minute repeaters as well. You know, the idea of like these uh, these cams and then a, a feeler, you know, to translate um, a t simple timer uh, into sound, right? So that that's really cool. It's a nice, uh, it, while it's very modern and very innovative, it's also a nice sort of like um, homage to traditional watchmaking too. Quite a, quite a cool piece. Um, what does the H5 uh, retail for, Greg? It's uh, 55,000, Swiss Frank. Okay. So we're kind of going in ascending order because I know the H20 or H is, is, quite, uh, is, is almost 100,000. So this is, this is kind of like the medium range then, I take it. Yes, exactly. And uh, uh, what, we, what we wanted to do is uh, really to, uh, also with the H5, um, as you just mentioned, you know, uh, HYT, we work a lot. We are watchmakers, also. Uh, and uh, uh, for sure, we have invented and created uh, new technologies and machines in order to produce that. It's a it's a very huge project that uh, lasts for uh, more than fifteen years. Right. And um, but what we what we do is really we have a, uh, we have two legs, and uh, the, we have really one leg which is. The mechanical world and the the the, the, the tradition of uh, the haute horlogerie that uh, we really want to continue uh, to work with, and uh, and uh, we use this, you know, because it's so powerful, it's so rich. Uh, the history of that and the people that are working in the in the watch industry, uh, uh, that it's it's really our passion. So uh, we are watchmakers and uh, we love this uh, mechanical world and we pay tribute to to, to that. Uh, what we do is that we connect this element of, I would say, uh, 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 don't misunderstand me, but it's, it, for, for me, it's more reinterpretation of uh, uh, things that have been invented uh, uh, and has, that, have, that has been uh, improved year after years, decades after decades. Uh, right. but for example, Tourbillon is uh, 1803 or 6, and uh, uh, miniature repeater dates also for um, uh, uh, centuries. The thing is that we, we, we want to take this uh, history, we want to take this uh, uh, amazing uh, industry that is uh, uh, working now, but we want to really have a new interpretation and to mix it 
with contemporary science in order to propose, uh, I would say, complications uh, from the third millennium, but also uh, the idea to uh, basically make the people think of what is time and to re-interact much more with their watch. There has been uh, 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 discussions uh, with the people that uh, say a watch uh, doesn't uh, tell the time anymore. You don't need the, your watch to tell your time because you have your mobile phone, you have your computer, you have your, in your car, a lot of indication. You have time yes. everywhere, which is connected to atomic clocks. You know, you have the, if you change the time zone, it's already set, etc. So people say, okay, what's Swiss watch industry? Uh, uh, people, you don't need the watch to, 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 to give you the time. I would say, yes, we have this transition, we have this, but uh, uh, what is important, uh, and this is the proposal that, uh, that we uh, have and uh, uh, on which we work a lot, is to propose to our customers a new relation with time. And by seeing, you know, the flow of the time, the stream of time, you have something, an indication of, uh, of the time that flows. You have an intuitive, a much more human relation with it. And I remember uh, I had a discussion with uh, Roberta, Roberta Nas, you know, the, 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 from, uh, from uh, the US, and uh, I was explaining the philosophy of the time is fluid uh, um, to Roberta. And uh, uh, I met her uh, later uh, in, uh, in uh, Dubai, and she told me, Hey, Gregory, you know what? You know, I remember what you told me with the flow of the time inside the watch and the, the fact that you see your past, what you have done in your day and your future. And uh, uh, she said, you know, I was, uh, uh, after we met, I went back uh, to, uh, my, uh, to my office writing uh, articles, etc. And uh, the thing is that uh, she said suddenly, it was four in the afternoon, and I, I, I tried to visualize what is four in the afternoon uh, on an HYT watch, and she said, "Wow, the 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 color is almost filling filling the whole cap capillary. That means that my day was almost gone, but it it was like visual, a visual uh, a, a visualization that your day, wow, is gone." It said, "Oh, right. what did I do on my day? I didn't see my kids." I don't know. So I said, "Okay, I stopped working, and I and I wanted to enjoy." This is a mission that uh, I really love to, to, to see and to interact with the, the people. It's really to transform and to give a new possibility, a new perception of the essence of time and what is time exactly. Amazing. So let's go from here to uh, the last watch that's being launched, which is this wonderful movement that was created in collaboration with um, uh, Odomar Papi. Um, I think it's a, a really cool looking uh, movement. Uh, you've taken the bellows and you've kind of transformed into a V-shape, uh, a bit reminiscent of a, a V-twin uh, air-cooled engine. I like motorcycles, obviously, and I like Harleys. Uh, and I love the fact that the balance wheels are on the front of it as well. So, um... Yeah, so this, this uh, the collaboration with uh, uh, Odemar Piguet Renaud Papi uh, is, um, uh, has been uh, integrated in uh, two of our collections, the H20 that you see here, and also the H3 that uh, you see here, which is a linear indication of the, of the time, but also with a, a, a specific mechanical movement that we have developed uh, together. Uh, the collaboration with uh, uh, Odemar Piguet and Rodo Papi, we arrive at the end of the production of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the, the, the movements that uh, we are doing. That's why now we, uh, 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 we do new collaborations. And this is the principle in the DNA of HYT, is really to do collab, limited in time, and then to work with, you, with uh, other people and new, new watchmakers. Uh, it has been, the H20 has been very, very successful because, uh, you know, for the, yeah, you, you have uh, the, this wonderful and beautiful movement that, you, that is skeletonized that you see from the side, uh, from the top, and the, the, because it's skeletonized compared to the H5 and the H0 that we just saw before here, you see really from the side, you see through, uh, completely the movement and the mechanic and the, the fluidic device and um, uh, this one is uh, the represents it's a limited edition of five pieces and these are the last five watches that uh, uh, are going out from our uh, uh, atelier from our uh, uh, fluid uh, fluid lab and uh, it's really uh, a tribute that uh, uh, we, we have for this uh, really amazing collaboration with uh, APRP. 
and uh, uh, we arrive at the end. And uh, yes, it's a limited edition to celebrate what we, what we have done. And uh, this is what we call the red wave. If you have another picture that you, that you see. We also. have a more frontal picture or something. Yeah, the other picture. That's from the old, so I only have two pictures, this and the case back. Yes, can you oh. show us the case back? And we, see, we will see a little, um, in a better way, maybe the, 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 the wave. So, um, yes, okay. And, um, and uh, you see here from, uh, so you see the, the back, you see also the side, and you see this uh, red line, uh, which underlines, you know, the fluidic uh, design and the wave, uh, which is following uh, the crown. Um, uh, uh, integration to to the case, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, this one is uh, uh, comes in uh, uh, in uh, five uh, pieces. This watch basically what we what we want to do um, is uh, uh, the retailers cannot buy it. Uh, we keep it uh, uh, at uh, HQ, and it's a watch that uh, we take. This is what we call a drop. So this one, uh, uh, when we will have the opportunity to uh, travel again and to present. It's a watch that we bring when we do um, a common event with uh, retailers, you know, collector's dinner, for example, or fluid lab exhibition, uh, fluid lab experience. And we will bring the watch and uh, present it uh, 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 to uh, our uh, uh, VIPs and customers and giving the possibility to, uh, to, to, to buy it uh, like that on the, on the spot. So it's really, uh, 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 the H20 was a very amazing um, uh, watch and collaboration. Uh, we are preparing uh, the next generation. It will be out um, uh, next year in 2021 to also with the new collaboration uh, um, with uh, uh, a product which will be also price position at 100,000 Swiss francs. Like okay. Um, what is the case material? Is it carbon fiber? No, this one is, um, uh, is also steel, and uh, it comes with uh, black PVD treatment. Oh, okay, interesting. It looks like it's got these kind of like a stripey kind of finish on it, but could just be the picture. Yeah. Very cool. So on, the, on, the, on this one, you, 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 you see the idea why we wanted to open in V shape, like uh, really the piston motor, like uh, the a v, a v motor. It's because we wanted to give more space uh, inside the watch to the mechanical movement. And uh, uh, that's why by opening like that, and if you notice the, the bellows are not on the same plan that uh, the, the, the rest of the, of the movement, they're a little tilted, they come a, a little uh, like that. It's because also we want, we work a lot the three dimensionality. And uh, yes. you know that the, when, you, when you design a, a movement, there are a lot of elements like bridges, etc., uh, that are what we call in layers. You know, there is layer one, layer two, layer three, like that. You build it uh, like a stack, like that. So this is what we call 2.5D because it's uh, it's more than 2Ds, but still it's in layer. And the idea of tilting also the bellows like that is to reinforce the impression of three dimensionality of the whole movement together, mixed with uh, the, the the fluidic device. And as it's giving more space, that's why on this uh, uh, H20, we have the opportunity to indicate uh, the minutes with a central minute compared to the other models where we have like a regulator, which is uh, uh, on the top of the watch. This one has a central minute. And, you know, you start the journey uh, 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 at the, with the, the um, uh, arrow, which is uh, designed on the left side. And you finish the day uh, with uh, the arrow, which is on the right side. That means that between the two arrows, you don't have any hour indication. You do right. not have any hour indication. And what we wanted to do, because of the position of the central minute, we wanted to synchronize the position of the minutes with the position of the hours. And uh, as we don't have any indication of the hours between the two arrows, we right. decided to not to indicate also the minutes uh, between the two arrows. And that's why we have created with uh, APRP a complication, which is a jumping minute. That means that 
when the, in the, when the, the arrow from uh, the, the hands uh, of the minutes arrive to uh, the, 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 at the position of the um, uh, arrow, which is on the left, on the right, mm -hmm. sorry, you see that there is a 30, 30 indicator, okay, yeah. of the minutes. And when you see the other arrow, it's also 30. So that means that when it will reach the, the, the right side of, uh, uh, of the arrow, the, the hands will jump boom, directly and it will go to the other position. It's a complication so that you synchronize the index, uh, index yeah. of the hours with the index of, uh, of the minutes. Sure. That's cool, man. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Greg, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, congratulations on the new collection, and uh, I really hope that we can all see each other again soon and uh, and enjoy some good times together. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to see you. Uh, you know, this COVID uh, uh, is a really tough, generally tough times. Uh, we have to transform uh, and to reinvent ourselves. And I think that it provides us also some unique opportunities as we have now. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, the opportunity to meet digitally, uh, it's not the same as seeing each other, but it gives us also a really great, uh, great uh, time to share. And uh, take care. Thank you very much. And uh, hope to see you soon. Cool.